It's a wonderful having you here. It's good to be here. Is it streaming? Yeah. Are you alive? Yeah. Nobody's watching. Some people might jump. Do they know this is going on? Hmm? Do they know this is going on? I posted it. Okay. Yeah. Actually, no one's going to join from our saga because um, it's on your account, but they'll watch. Oh. Oh, okay. Are you ready for people to come in? Sure. Well, people do get out in terms of weather and say, uh, no, you know, um, Catherine, uh, I don't know, maybe John, uh, you, you know, oh, you want to take pictures? Yeah, I'm the picture guy, okay. I guess. Oh, hello, come in. Uh, we're going to be rather tight. So if you come on up here. And uh, the, uh, the, the, come in. What you get here? Move all those Zafus. Use the Russian guy for the Which one's that? The fancy one. Oh, yeah, that's very fancy. That, that's for you guys. <laughs> guy when you sit in those chairs. Okay. Um, if you want, you can put a cushion over here um, and either stand or sit or whatever. Or there, there's a, uh, there's another stool in the garage if you want to bring one oh, for yourself. Somebody's watching out there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you know, I'm going to find a stool for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, 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 the stool mm -hmm. is, uh, if you go out to in the garage on the right hand side toward the uh, garage door. There's one okay. folded up sitting there. I understand. I'll turn the sticky in and eat in and out. Yeah. So all right. Should just come and look back <laughs> Does nobody knock over the candles? Okay. You want to sit on the floor? You can I sit can. in one of the folding chairs. That's what we have in the floor. You guy. Well, uh, John's going to have to come in here in a minute, so, um, yeah, and we'll swing in. John, and Joel. We are uh, streaming live on the YouTube there for part of Tree Leaf Sangha. To international Zen community. John, did, you, uh, did, did Joel come in with the bench yet? I mean, the, the stool? Yeah, he, he's there. Oh, okay. If you want, you could be over here. Yeah, uh, I'll get my. Uh, okay. So. <clears throat> So why don't you sit up next to me? 
Okay. Would you do that? Yes, sir. I tell people with, 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 with ceremonies like this, something always goes wrong. Mm -hmm. It's a poster. It's always good. There are two folks out there right now. Two folks during the week, other people will be watching. Oh, okay. Um, everyone, you could sit down here, but it's okay. You go ahead yeah, and sit they, up there. They be, a, to, be a sardine. Man. There you go. Yeah. And they were willing to accommodate. All right. All right. Give you some good Roshi space. <laughs> I welcome everyone to uh, Kirtland's and Tadlipsuji Temple. Small, but precious. We're going to do a, a service and a, and a ceremony. Uh, so the Eno over here is, is in charge. So if you have your uh, sutra cards, uh, please take a look. We don't announce things, correct? Thank you. 
and researching our lineage, um, writing about it, taking issue with uh, certain organizational issues and so forth. It's been a marvelous journey together we've had. Juno's a uh, root teacher, I think was uh, Nishijima, Russian. Um, 
uh, translator and editor and commentator of the uh, Shobagenzo, a marvelous uh, teacher. Uh, unfortunately, he's passed away. There comes a time, I think, in a priest's life, uh, often at the, at the end of that life, but not always, uh, where that priest has, uh, has reached a level um, of understanding, not just understanding, uh, investment in the community, uh, leadership, critical thinking, it's, just, it's another order uh, of uh, priestliness, if you will. In my opinion, Reverend Cohen has achieved that, more than achieved that, he's surpassed it, he's, he's beyond that. As I said, we've been working together for several years now. Uh, and it's been a, a marvelous experience. So I'm going to um, conduct a, uh, an abbreviated uh, transmission of light ceremony, a Roshi ceremony, and uh, bestow upon uh, Reverend Cohen the title of an, an office of Roshi. Uh, Roshi is, uh, is just a word. It means uh, old teacher, um, but it, it, at least in the United States, it's taken to mean uh, something other than that, uh, or uh, deeper than that. It's taken to mean uh, sometimes referred to as Zen master. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of that phrase uh, myself, but that's how it's understood, I think. It's not like that good to our head. <laughs> so, um, on that note, I will first uh, pop the stick of incense, and then we will pop the stick of incense. Thank you. All my past and harmful karma. All my past and harmful karma. Born from beginningless greed, hate, and delusion. Born from beginningless greed, hate, and delusion. Through body, speech, and mind. Through body, speech, and mind. I now fully avow. I now fully avow. All my past and harmful karma. All my past and harmful karma. Born from beginningless greed, hate, and delusion. Born from beginningless greed, hate, and delusion. Through body, speech, and mind. Through body, speech, and mind. I now fully avow. I now fully avow. All my past and harmful karma. All my past and harmful karma. Born from beginningless greed, hate, and delusion. Born from beginningless greed, hate, and delusion. Through body, speech, and mind. Through body, speech, and mind. I now fully avow. I now fully avow. Now the three refuges. I think we'll do these each in English. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Sangha. I have taken refuge in the Buddha. I have taken refuge. I have taken refuge in the Dharma. I have taken refuge in the Dharma. I have taken refuge in the Sangha. I have taken refuge in the Sangha. Hatsunoge, he uh, shaved the head. In this case, his head is fairly shaved, uh, <laughs> unlike mine. Uh, but uh, it's just uh, we symbolically shave the head that we uh, free ourselves from suffering and attachment. Now, 
Leben zu empfangen. So water purification cleanse you and refresh you. It's here in this place that we take our most solemn vows. These vows are the backbone of our practice and emanate from our own true nature. As Roshi, I believe these vows are particularly important as the eyes of the community will be upon uh, Jundo as he represents the highest level of practice and priesthood. The ordination of a Roshi, meaning old teacher, or sometimes today referred to as Zen Master, is uncommon. It's as though we have completed the 360 degrees of the compass of Zen, and now return free and easy in the marketplace. We are both master and student, and none of these. For, as the Diamond Sutra teaches, any separation means a lack of Buddhahood. We now recite and invoke our vows. Three pure precepts. I vow not to commit evil. I vow not to commit evil. I vow to do good. I vow to do good. I vow to bring about abundant good for all beings. I vow to bring about abundant good for all beings. Ten grave precepts. I vow not to kill. I vow not to kill. I vow not to steal. I vow not to steal. I vow not to commit sexual misconduct. I vow not to commit sexual misconduct. I vow not to tell a lie. I vow not to tell a lie. I vow not to be ignorant. I vow not to be ignorant. I vow not to talk about others' faults. I vow not to talk about others' faults. I vow not to elevate myself above others. I vow not to elevate myself above others. I vow not to be stingy, neither with material things or spiritual things. I vow not to be stingy, neither with material things nor spiritual things. I vow not to become angry or give way to anger. I vow not to become angry, nor to give way to anger. I vow not to speak ill of the three treasures. I vow not to speak ill of the three treasures. Please honor these vows. I will. Um, the candle is the light of our practice, our nature. My light to you. Please invite that light to burn. It's an ancient form of mind to mind transmission, uh, the transmission of light. Now, um, I offer you a few things. First, a rakasu. This rakasu is, I hate to say it, near and dear to me. It's the last one I have that was my teacher's. <clears throat> and I'm presenting it to you as your uh, vestment in um, the Raksu is a Buddhist rope. It's a uh, Mintrai's version of the Okasa, uh, going back 2,600 years, sewn in a particular pattern, uh, handed down by the Buddha himself. It's a representation of our values, of our precepts, of our 
moral, or, or morality. It's a robe of liberation. Next, I have a uh, certificate. Present to you. It's not the best certificate. It works. It's the best. It's a way, as my teacher used to call it, the degree of Roshi. But Mazoka referred to it that way. And I'll just continue that tradition. <laughs> okay. Lastly, Gift. Which is these? And actually, lastly, we seal the deal. Oh, yes. Please lean forward. Hands in Gesho. This was uh, my teacher's teacher, Matsuoka Roshi's uh, teaching stick. I am uh, grateful to have it in my possession. But, uh, you see the deal. Thank you, Roshi. Thank you, Roshi. As uh, Spock says, live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now can we turn it back over to uh, you?
from this practice uh, our intent is to free other beings and what we do is we transfer the merit of this practice to those beings who unfortunately have not come to this practice or are unable to come to this practice so we divest ourselves of the value of our practice and uh, enrich them uh, through that transfer of merit fuego thank you very much for attendance uh, congratulations May I say something? Certainly. Um, this is such a special place to be able to sit here, even for a moment, is a pilgrimage for me. Um, a teacher should see a bit of life, and you see more than you share, and that makes you a real treasure in North American Zen. And I hope the people here appreciate what they have. Um, the Matsuoka Roshi lineage, the history is now coming to be understood for the first time. He came so early and he was a pioneer in so many ways. And now that history is coming to be understood through you. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Roshi? Roshi? You will. I think we're, we're done. So, does anyone have any questions or thoughts? Oh, go ahead. She's in charge. She, she changed. They, they, never mind. <laughs> she's, in, she's, in charge. she's in charge. He knows who's in charge. This is in the evening gatha. And it is what it all comes back to and where it all comes from. Let me respectfully remind you life and death are of supreme importance. Time swiftly passes by and opportunity is lost. Each of us should strive to awaken. Awaken! Take heed. This night your days are finished by one. Do not squander your life. Thank you. Any other questions at this point? But it's okay. We're all cool. We're so cool. We're just too cool for school. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's uh, break to the uh, to the living room. Let's eat. And eat something. There you go. And all tree leaf folks, thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there are some gluten free cupcakes if there are any left. <laughs> go I had a few. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Dolly made bread. Oh, Dolly made bread, yes. Sweet.